Today's video is a mind-blowing recipe using natural ingredients that will boost your hair growth like never before. One thing I like about this recipe is the ingredients are really easy to find and they are very affordable. Natural ingredients have been part of my natural hair growth regimen ever since my hair got damaged and now my hair is all flourishing. So if you really want to know how I do this, make sure you are watching every step of it, taking notes and do not skip any part of this video. Let's get into it. <laughs> hello beautiful people welcome or welcome back so our first ingredient for today's recipe is the flax seed and here you are you know how we do it here show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up and if you're new here do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell for more diys like these to help you grow your hair much faster i put the flax seeds in a saucepan like so flax seeds contain vitamin e and they are really great for natural hair growth our next ingredient is going to be the rosemary herbs Rosemary has so many benefits that can help improve hair growth. Due to its antibacterial properties, it can help prevent dandruff, dry itchy scalp, or any scalp issues. Rosemary can really help promote hair growth. It improves the overall strength of the hair strands and also can add some shine to the hair. It stimulates blood flow to the scalp and prevents any hair loss. Adding rosemary to your hair care regimen can help you boost your hair growth. So I just peel all the leaves from the stick like so and I add it to my flax seed. I'm going to add about 3 cups of water to my saucepan and I'm going to put it on the stove to boil. And hey guys, if you're still watching this video to this point, y'all know how we do it here. Show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell. So each time I upload DIYs like these, you will be notified. On this channel, I do a whole lot of DIYs that can help boost your hair growth. I also do simple hairstyle tutorials that you can rock to that special occasion. And hey all moms, I got you. <laughs> I also do kids hairstyle tutorial. So it's always jamming on this channel. Make sure to subscribe and click on the bell. All right, so as I have my suspend like so, I keep on stirring so the flaxseed does not stick under the pin. And when it's all ready, I boil it for about 20 minutes, then I strain it. That is the trick. Make sure whenever you boil flax seeds, you strain it whilst it's still hot. Because when you wait for it to cool down, it's all going to be thickened up and straining it is going to be a lot of work. <laughs> and I do not want that for you. So make sure you're always straining it while it is still hot. And this is how I'm using my mixture today. You can put it in a spray bottle and use it. But I feel using it this way makes it easier because it gets to every part of the hair. It's easy to massage it into the scalp, to the hair strand, and I make sure to get it to every corner of the hair. <laughs> so make sure you try this method because this method really works bad. It is a little messy. <laughs> okay, so at this point, I just put a shower cup like so and I leave it for about 45 minutes. So after that, I wash it and I condition my hair and this is how my hair is looking. Look at that curl, girl. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to moisturize my hair and I'm going to use my leave-in condition and I made my own leave-in condition using clothes. Let me show you how I did this leave-in conditioner. So I start by using whole clothes. I grind my own clothes, but you can use the powder clothes. I mean, it's your preference, but I just love to prepare my own powder clothes. After that, I'm going to add some rosemary to this recipe as well. You all know rosemary has great benefits for natural hair growth. So I love it adding it to all my hair care regimen. I'm going to grind both together. Then after that, I'm going to transfer it into a mason jar like so. You can use any mason jar that you want or any bowl, anything. Just make sure it's a glass or something that can stay in hot water because we're going to put this in the hot water. After that, I'm going to add my career oils and today I'm going to use the coconut oil and also my extra virgin olive oil. These two oils are really lightweight. It can be easily absorbed into the hair strand. They have similar properties. They can help prevent dandruff, add some shine to the hair, and also improve the overall health of your hair strand. It's going to prevent hair breakages and improve hair growth. So after adding the two oils to my cloves and rosemary, I'm going to put it in the hot water like so. This is the double boiling method. I'm going to leave it in for about 30 minutes or till the oil is warm to touch. I give it a stir every now and then, and this is what we have having now. At this point, I'm going to strain my oil out. 
Giving this video a thumbs up means a lot to me because this will help YouTube to push this video to a lot of people who might be interested in growing their hair. So do me the favor by giving this video a thumbs up and also leaving me a lovely comment. Also, if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell. So each time I upload DIYs like these, you will be notified. All right, so this is what I got from the residue and that is my oil. At this point, I'm going to add some peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is really great for the scalp. And I just love the fragrance as well. Just a few drops will do the trick. So you're going to add your leave-in conditioner. You can use any leave-in conditioner of your choice. And I am adding my cream of nature leave-in conditioner. After that, we're going to give the two a stir so they both mix together. There is no measurement to this. Too much or too less is not going to harm your hair in any way. So feel free to add it. Okay, I'm going to show you the best way to use this to promote hair growth and prevent hair breakages. I just rub it in my hair, every part of my hair. And look at how my hair is already moisturized. <laughs> you should give these DIYs a try and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for stopping by today to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed filming it. See you in my next video. But before you leave, watch the video you see on your screen. Bye.